Can you guys believe that it is almost Christmas? It's cold outside and I am going to make my grocery list for the week. Um, as I've told you guys before, meal planning is going to be something that is going to help you save a lot of money up front. I believe that grocery budgets are probably second in line to the most expensive bill that you have. If you add up grocery, restaurant, stuff like that um, behind your mortgage or your rent. But before we get started, if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. I make videos weekly on money, minimalism, and leading a meaningful life. If any of that interests you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm here in my big comfy gray sweatshirt. And I've told you guys to use coupons, or I think I've told you to use coupons. Um, but I generally use coupons. Um, I don't have a subscription to the newspaper, but I do know people who do, so they always save the uh, inserts for me. And then another tip is to go on to coupons.com and you can get free coupons. This process weekly, I usually do it on Friday evenings. It takes me no time at all, honestly, um, to kind of put my list together, but I strategically put my list together in a certain type of a way that gets me in and out of the store with the least amount of resistance or the least amount of things that don't belong in my car in my cart. The first thing I do is I pull my monthly meal plan, which I do. I may already have this video up um, on my channel or I may not, but I meal plan monthly. Um, so we know what we're going to have. I have this binder here that um, I've had forever that has copies of the months for my meal planning. It has uh, a list of the meals that we love and then it has all of the recipes that I may need to reference when I'm making my list. But essentially I'm going to make, I make four different categories depending upon where I'm going to go in the store. I typically within a store, produce is the first area and then around the edge you have fridge and freezer and then I put other. And this is beneficial for me because um, otherwise, if you're going into a store and you just have one list, but you have, let's say you have a freezer item here and a freezer item down here, and then you've got some dry goods here and some produce here and some produce here on your list, you're gonna end up going around the grocery store like a chicken with your head cut off. Honestly, you need to, I, 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 categorize it by section so that I can be in there the least amount of time possible. And I'm not sure when this video will be out after I film it, but it'll still be uh, relevant to give you guys some ideas and show you how I meal plan and how I um, perfect my grocery list to save as much money as possible. So we have crab cakes, rice and llama beans, and just so you know, crab cakes for me means artichoke hearts and chickpeas. Um, and then we have a new recipe. I do like to throw maybe one or two new recipes in per uh, month just to kind of change things up. And then we have vegan burgers, fries and baked beans, tacos, vegan chili. And then on Christmas Eve, I have veggie potato soup, but honestly, I'm not sure what we might be doing that night. And we just had this and I don't think my husband loves it all that much, but um, uh, he would still eat it. But I might just change that up a bit. So basically all I'm gonna go do is go through my binder and first off, before I write anything else on my list, I'm gonna write anything that I need to go with these recipes that I don't already have. So after I have created my list here, then um, I will go through my coupons, which these are expired coupons and then these are, are um, coupons I don't need. And I will pull out anything that I think I can use that will go along with what I need. You don't need to utilize coupons to buy something just because there's a coupon for it. So next, I have talked about in the past my Ibotta app. So I will go to my Ibotta app, which um, I think this will tell me how much I've earned. Oh yeah, so lifetime earnings, $135. I currently have $5.30. Since it's really cool to, um, because once you reach, I think that's a $20 uh, card or $20 um, minimum, then you can pull like an Amazon gift card or something. I mean, this is, this is free money that you don't 
get if you don't use Ibotta and it's very simple. So I will go through here and find the store that I plan to go to, which I do plan to go to Aldi and to one other place. Aldi is one of my favorites, which you aren't going to find as many name brand um, Ibotta um, offers because um, Aldi typically doesn't necessarily always have name brands. So what I will go to is I will slide over to the section where it says any items and it will automatically give me money on any of these items no matter what the brand is. Um, so if I needed a pie crust, pie filling, cake mix, um, diaper rash cream, none of that I actually need so that doesn't help me and I pretty much usually know what offers are already in here so I will just go to new offers and see what there is. So I will look at Harris Teeter, which is likely where I will have to go because there is some things that you um, need Aldi doesn't always have. So I also wanted to share with you guys, you should always search Google for a blogger that utilizes a store that you go to. So for instance, here in this area, we have a store called Harris Teeter. And I'm sure, you know, if you have a Kroger or any of those other HEBs, any other uh, grocery stores that you probably have a blogger in your area that does the exact same thing. But this person does the work for me. So essentially, this person goes through all of the weekly ads for that grocery store and pulls out the best deal. The other thing that this person also does is she will, um, I believe it's a she, she will pull up um, to show you if there's an Ibotta rebate on it, what the final price is. And then she will also go in and if there's a coupon that you can find, for instance, um, because you can go on coupons.com and pull these, then she'll put a link to that. Or she might be able to actually even find a vendor specific um, coupons. This is something that I subscribe to and I also check when I'm doing my weekly shopping list. So that's it, that's how I put together my weekly shopping list. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to come back for more videos. Mm -hmm.